Hello and welcome to the Fiddle and Matt Show, your weekly roundup of what's new and going on in my nice, clean, look clean studio. <laughs> look, at look at the look space. At I feel like I could lick the worktops. <laughs> well, please don't. Although I'll probably taste Zoflora. So, <laughs> but yes, it does look. Look, I can, I can actually touch spaces and do this without getting... <laughs> As you notice, I've got, well, you guys won't, hold on, let me show them on this one. We have a wider angle because literally, mm. uh, normally I have a tighter angle. So, because uh, there's so much crap everywhere, it's, I have a pile of it here, off next to me and then everywhere, but no. So that was, that was me <laughs> yesterday. It's looking a lot better, <laughs> I have yes. to say. It was, yes. it was getting overrun. You it was starting like to bother me. Stamp. Yes, I know it's one of those things you see. We see a lot of obviously photos from you guys saying pictures of your work and stuff, especially on the forum. And often you get that system where it's encroaching and you're working on a smaller and smaller part, <laughs> corner of the mat because of all the junk around and everything. And it's like I was feeling that as well. I was getting pressured. And I think the trouble you've got is when you're dealing with, you know, quite delicate items as well. So like this is going to have bits and pieces all over it. You've got that thing. You can't just put it down anywhere. And that was what, so then I'm putting it on boxes of tiles and they're wobbling and you're like, I've just got nowhere to put anything at all. And literally you'll have a box. I'm like, um, uh, goes on the floor. Yeah. And then with the other ones and yeah. before you know it, it was just absolutely horrendous. So anyway, I did spend, uh, Saturday and then obviously on Sunday, we had a bit of a family hiccup. Uh, and then, uh, as I say, Monday really pushing on with this thing, getting it all sorted as well. So, and, uh, getting it all together. So yes. Very nice, but I feel now spring. I'm nesting. Is that what? Yes, that's <laughs> so, that what it is. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but yeah. yes. So I've had a good clear out of all the clutter and the bits and pieces. So I found a few sanders. Who knew? So <laughs> you didn't, obviously. <laughs> no, I didn't. Literally, I opened up one of these cupboards, and Matt knows I've got cupboards all along yeah. the bottom here, and I was went through them all, cleaned them up, pulled it all out. Literally, so I pulled out this box, opened it up, and it's a full box of sanders, 150 packs of sanders. It's like. Wow. How? Where? Quick, <laughs> like, get them you know, on the site. <laughs> that's it. So anyway, they're in the members area. Go and grab them now. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, <laughs> I put them up and, but wow, it was good. But I must admit, really nice now. I've got my dedicated um, area for my 3D printing, which is very well ventilated for everyone who worries. Um, well, it is with these things running. Uh, so I've got that all sorted now. So that needed to be done because Matt will know as well. The bit where you've got resin and you're like, ugh. You know, you Sorry. need somewhere to put it down and yeah. with all your gloves and all your safety kit as well. You need somewhere to have it properly. If you're just moving it around. And I was in a situation where I had the curing station and the wash station on the floor and having to put them up, put them on this desk or in the spray booth to wash it all. That's... So you're walking. It's not good. You want it's it out the machine, down in and done, you know, yeah. to keep it all nice and simple. So, yes. Anyway, it's all looking very, very nice now. So just to give you a quick sneak peek of what it does look like now, this is how my desk is now. Look at that. Look. Look how no nice clutter on the other side. No apart clutter. From, apart from a broken chair still. Yeah, still got a one-arm chair. I was say, you've still fine. not fixed that chair then. No, I haven't fixed the chair. To be honest, that's my next sort of buying it's, it's, thing, I think. At the end of the month, if we've got some pennies left over, I'm going to invest in two new chairs because this one's falling apart on me as well. So, uh, but yeah, so anyway, we've got uh, that one down in there. And then as you can see, all bombs on the wall. See, spray moves. So I've moved the band sander up as well. We've got rid of the scroll saw for the minute. That's yeah. out of the way. Got a new shiny filter uh, and everything else. That's all down. I've even cleaned and dusted all down in here. I threw away loads of old thinners and stuff that have gone off. Yeah. Uh, and all those types of things. Sorry, wrong way. Uh, done all of that. There it is, all down in there now. So stash is now still huge and over the top and all the rest of it, but that is starting to go down. Members, you know about that anyway. So that's nice. So there it is, round in there. So there it is. That's looking quite nice. As you see, we've got the curing station, the bits and pieces all down. I even gave the printer a scrub and the computer a dusting out and everything else. So tell you, yeah, so that's good to say. Good. Tell you what, Phil, you don't realise how dusty. Yes. Your room gets. And I know you've mm. got white tops like I've got white desks. Um, mm. But yeah, because you, what was you on? The Zoflora. So anybody who knows what I Zoflora is. I was on the Zoflora. It's good stuff. Highly recommend if that. If you've got pets like yes. we have, 
Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's a non-chemical cleaner, isn't yeah. it? And it's really yeah. quite a nice thing. And obviously, I, mm. I kind of use IPA out of the spray bottle, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And just yeah. wipe the tops down with IPA. But Zooflora is, is a good product, actually. It's a nice cleaner. But, yeah, when you have a look at your cloth, I don't know, did you use mm. a microfiber oh, yeah. cloth like me? Microfiber cloth, I had to yeah. go out every now and again and wash oh. it out because it's oh. just black, absolutely black. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, the, no. the amount of dust and crap that just gets around is you, you just mm. you just don't see it in everyday life, do you? When you're in there, no, no. you know, you, you wipe your actual space near you, but everything mm. else, obviously, when you're spraying as well. I know me and you've obviously got the same as extractors, but it still mm. some of it gets here. Oh, you still get some and of it. lands yeah. on. I mean, the worst, like obviously, the paint racks. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I done. know. <laughs> yes, I have done some of them, but I must admit, I haven't done yeah. these. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, but I can't be. I might. Going to have a rejig. I think when paints come back out, because at the moment there's a worldwide shortage of paint, so I might completely do this. As I say, to be honest, I'm probably going to be. I've already got one of the members who wants to buy me MRP, so I might get rid of my MRP range and then replace. Uh, yeah. And I will get these all sorted and, and redone then. So yeah, yes, yeah. definitely. I think it is one of those. But yeah, you are right. Dust. I think for modelers, especially if you don't have them, Oof. because yeah. it, I remember before I had these, I had a smaller version, and yeah. before that, I had a window. So you spray yeah. it the window, <laughs> you know. So uh, and literally, but the amount of dust that used to cause. I know in the um, in the early two thousands when I was doing the commission work, I didn't have an extractor, so I literally used to open the window and spray it at the window. That was my you know go to for it. Um, the dust in my workroom was horrendous, and I know when I first got a proper extractor, got the small ones, then I got that one. The yeah. dust level just dropped because it's all you know the dust yeah. particles or yeah. paint particles in theory, and they're falling out the air. And yeah, it causes a real, real problem. So that shut it down a lot. But again, I think realistically, this is the first time I've gone and done all the worktops properly. And to say we've hoovered and been in the cupboards and they've all been wiped out. To us, I have done some of the paint racks. Uh, I've actually wiped them out as well. So again, it's one of those where it's the first time it's had a proper deep clean, declutter. And I was really ruthless, so much so, that went to the tip on um, uh, a Sunday afternoon, literally filled the boot of the car just stuff and it's stuff that literally is like why have i still got this i don't use it it's just junk literally just junk broken stuff lots of broken stuff mm. and it's like do you know what i'm going to be ruthless i'm going to get rid of it all chuck it all out and that's what we did and as i say it was you know it's very liberating and what's nice obviously this morning was coming in um you know first proper day at work and it was like right it's clear You're reinvigorated you aren't you to do it on yeah. before it's yeah. not you've got to move a ton of stuff mm. to actually start work and that's what i i just wherever whatever job i can't cope with that because mm. like no. when i'm done no. i put stuff away which people think is a bit weird i know john does the same when he's on it mm. it always go back in the rack and everything because i just like to start afresh mm. and i come back the day after where you know some people yeah. just leave it out ready don't leave they it I, 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 back, I don't yeah. know i don't know what it is mm. i put, always put my stuff where i've always done i've done it you know even when i spray in the cars and stuff everything used to be cleaned and put away ready for the next yeah. day and yeah, a fresh day into it and a fresh start. I think that's Definitely. my mentality yes. of it. So, um, mm. yeah, it is. It is nice when you've had a good, a good clear out. <laughs> mm. I think it's also for me. It's sometimes I obviously like for you guys at home, like you to see what we've got here, and it's quite nice because when you're doing a lot of work, you just want to grab it and go. But what I've done now is I've just kept primary tools that I use all the time are in here. And then the mm. secondary ones are either in the cabinets behind me or I've got some uh, mugs at the back. So my sanders, for instance, you know, I usually use two or three sanders and that's it. So they're all in the back now and all the rest of it. And my Posca pens, for instance, and my all my different cutters and nippers and that, they're all over there now. And because you don't really need them all here. And again, it's all of that is pushing in slowly into it. So, yeah, definitely nice. Nice to get it all cleared and done. And as I say, we've got something coming down the line soon which will be even better for this. Oh. It's a new Flory Models product coming this way, which I'm hopeful should be next week. Cool. Um, so looking forward to that as well. So that will make it even better. Cool. So, uh, hmm. More efficient you are. The... More efficient, yes. It, it is. Well, it's quicker you get through projects in a way, and especially yeah. for you with the filming and stuff, because, again, if you're filming, you don't want a lot of clutter no. around you, do you? Do you know what I mean? No, so, no, definitely you know. not. No, but again, I think it's one of those things that sometimes if a clean workbench is a bit like, you know, a must as well, because if you are masking and you're painting and things like that, if you've got a dirty workbench and you've got junk all over it, it's going to get onto your model. You know, like we say about the spray booth, really important with the spray booth is that 
these filters, although they're really nice, they're dust magnets. And if you knock it, as you'll know, you'll get a cloud of dust comes off. If you've got a wet model here, yeah. it's going to get stuck. And yeah, all yeah. those little bits will go onto it and get stuck to it. So it's just little things like that. You want to make sure you hoover or at least dampen down around the paper towel around there, if you're like me, and use that type of setup as well, just to damp it down to stop the particles lifting up, being knocked. And when you're airbrushing, you get the thing about, if you've got bits on the, you know, your air in front of you, it gets flicked up and comes back mm. and then falls all over your completed model, you know? So yeah. I remember years ago, it was always that thing about um, dipping canopies. Don't tend to do it as much these days because canopies are pretty good, but yeah. it was always that thing about dipping a canopy and then quickly putting it under a dome. <laughs> yeah, so bits don't come down and it. fall on it because you knew it would do as well yeah. so yeah little things but it is hmm. yeah like i say it just makes it for a nice working environment into the end of it hmm. yeah yeah i think that's what it is it's a nice environment you feel quite nice about it you come in yeah. you can see everything again you, you know, know what i think you know how we see people nice. who've like lost their mojo a little bit hmm. Yeah, I probably think, you know, a good thing for them to do if they, if they feel it. I mean, if you just want to walk away from the hobby and do something else, that's absolutely fine. We know them who are struggling mm. with the mojo. Clean your mm. room. If yeah, you've got your own modeling room or your man cave, your shed, your, mm -hmm. wherever you model and you can do it. Obviously, mm. if it's a kitchen table, it's a bit different still. But if you've mm -hmm. got your own room, clean it, gut it and clean it, because I think then yeah. you probably cleanse yourself yes, it is it's cleansing cleanse room, everything and yeah. i think you'll probably get a bit more enthusiasm back because you you mm. can you know you've you can have a bit of a fresh start i suppose do you know what i mean mm. oh because i must admit when i was going through my stash because obviously yeah. getting rid of a lot of it because it's just too big yeah and you know but that was the other thing as well is that some of the stuff i'm keeping I've now got ideas for because yeah. I've held that box in hand instead of it yeah. just being like wallpaper and yeah. it's just a big wall of kits. Now I've physically had them out. I've had a look at it. And go, do you know what? We're definitely going to do that one now. And again, it makes you think. There's a couple of builds in there now. I'm like going to do that this year definitely because mm. it's been sat in the stash forever and I haven't touched it. And it, yeah. I want to do it. And it's given me that sort of oh, yeah, definitely want to do that one. Yeah. You know, and a couple of it. So I found weirdly an old Boba Fett that's half built, one of the Bandai ones. Oh, so yeah. I finished him. Literally, I finished him off. Yeah. I put him back together. He needs painting now, but he is built. Whereas yeah. before, he was, he was only half built. And uh, it, it's a case of, right, we'll put it together. And it's like, I forgot I even had it. So, yeah. so it was like, you yeah. know, and now I'm thinking, I'd like to get him painted up and done and everything else. Because again, he's not in my set of my Bandai figures, and it should be. And it's like, right, we will, we'll get that done and sorted. So, yeah, definitely is one of those. But I come across lots of little kits and bits and pieces, and I was thinking, yeah, definitely. You know, that's stuff we want to do. And also what's quite nice, a lot of the reason there's a gap over there now is that I use these big storage containers, you know, the lockable lib ones, and um, they've got the kits in them. So I put a few of the kits in there, like I put the Tempest in it for now and a few of the others. And it's nice to know they're safe now, to be honest, in my office upstairs. Um, but they are safe, protected out yeah. the way i moved the dozer for instance because the dozer took a bit of a knock so mm -hmm. uh you know and everything else but it really came to a head when i was working on this thing i picked it up movie i snapped the pito off and it's like oh then the front wheel went oh you don't like, want that on that I'm... thing either do you yeah that's it and i've got nowhere to put it and that was half the thing i was like that's it gonna do this Ooh. so nice segue mm. though could you pull your lightning back into the shot we are actually going to have some of them in store. I'm just waiting for the order to come in, but we've got a, a few of the two-seaters coming back in from Sword. It's nice. Coming in, it's coming in with a pre-order. That's a, another pre-order. It's like, oh, canopy. Sorry, it's ejecting. <laughs> it's yeah. just, I, uh, I need to glue it on. I haven't yeah. glued it on. So, yeah, just watch this space because there'll be there'll be the Sword Lightnings back in. So we'll have them mm. on the site um, probably by Friday oh. with a bit of luck and Phil will show you. But, yeah. But yes, yes, I know what you mean, because obviously when things are just hanging around, they get knocked and banged and broken hmm. and then end up going in the bin mainly, don't they? Because you can't be bothered. Yeah, to and that's that is the other problem as well, isn't it? So, um, yeah. yeah, no, it looks a lot better. You've done a hmm. grand job of that. Yes, definitely. <laughs> uh, the other two big things I've been doing uh, is uh, obviously we've on with the Apache. I'll get on with this again tomorrow. See, no, <laughs> together, clearly. Uh, so again, this is an absolutely brilliant kit. Spoke about it on Friday. Haven't really done any more since Friday, as you can see. But uh, really, really nice. So obviously, two parts are up at the moment, although part one is an hour long. So, uh, but yes, looking very, very nice. So going to be pushing on with this tomorrow. All right. But what I have been doing today is we have been working with this little lump, which I can sort of stick it together through again. So just for your delight. No, I can't because it's got the tape stuck in the hole. Hold on. 
There we go. That shows how tight the tolerances are. It is, yeah. So what I've been doing is uh, masking this up. And I've come to a big decision, which is I've gone a bit left field because I know everyone was saying about doing it in orange and doing this, that and the other. And literally I've decided to do it in green. Don't ask me why, but I actually think this will look really cool. So what I've got it does stand in here. It's Tamiya's XF5 flat green because um, obviously we can chip it and stuff like that. So that's what we're doing at the moment. We're just masking up down in here. I'm going to do a bit to camera just to show about how to find curves on, well, very, very weak panel lines uh, yeah. and stuff like that. But we've done down in here already. So this one's already masked up. We can do the green bars down in here as well. And there'll be a couple of other bits as well. So we're getting ready to mask up this one. So hopefully next time you see this, it will be properly into uh, paint on this one. So again, looking very, very nice. So uh, I want to get this thing, if I can, this week, get the green work all done to it and all the detail painting done. Then we can get all the pipe work into it. So I need to do the detail painting before we put the pipe work on. Then we'll get the pipe work on all onto it. And then we can go through the motions of weathering it and all stuff like that. So yes, it should be a lot of fun with that one. So that one's coming along very nicely indeed. It is. So, lovely hmm. jumbler. Very good. Very good. Hmm. How's so, well, things over there? At last, it's arrived. It's, it's here, isn't it, look? It's, it's arrived, look. It is. <laughs> Can we say, it's, it, they've actually turned up. Excuse the tripod, by the way. Sorry about that. But yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it came, they came yesterday. So everybody who's mm -hmm. obviously members pre-order and you've paid, they've gone out today. Phil's got his as well coming out. He should have his pretty soon so we can have a look and a review. Definitely, yeah. We'll get that done soon. It's here. We've waited a while, to be fair, for a new, uh, a new tool, B26. And obviously it was announced last year. Then it got delayed. Then it got delayed yeah. again. Yeah, but finally in. Um, just Again, we have been waiting for that kit a while. We were saying before it was it was one of those ones where you know I'm sure it's well over a year ago. Then we were hoping to see it just before Christmas. Yeah, it was. It was due December, weren't it? And then, and then it didn't show up. And eventually it's here. But you see some nice options in there. Some cut back ones, olive drab ones. Yeah, a couple of olive drabs, and then the nat natural metal one, which is the big eerie bird. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Uh, which is quite a very famous one, isn't it? A lot of companies mm -hmm. have done depicted that one in their schemes. And then obviously you've got a couple more. But again, the aftermarket decal companies and obviously mm. mass sets and you you name it, this is going to get the works chucked at it, isn't it? Space mm. sets, if you want, or Quinter. And yeah, yeah. It, it's um, just a cool looking airplane, isn't it, Marauder? <laughs> To be honest. You can only hope that ICM have actually got the scaling correct this time for their masking template. Because so far, it's all been off. You're right. Yeah, I don't know. You'll, you'll I, have to have I will hold out, I think, for an aftermarket one yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll have but, to have uh, a look, mate, I think, and uh, hmm. say when you when you open up and have a review. But yes, it's it's nice to see it. Actually, it's nice to see a Marauder again. Uh, yeah, definitely. I really yeah. like the US twin engined uh, mm -hmm. fighters and bombers, to be honest, of World War II. And I think as depicted next to me here from some bits I picked up at the weekend or one for me and one I've picked up so I'll show you in a bit but uh, but yeah like I said Marauder's one of them isn't it again from apart from the old monogram one and a really really bad esky year or one mm. I think in 48 which are well old anyway uh, a new tool one of these we've been crying out for haven't we it's oh, at yeah, last yeah. you know like with the B25 now being up tooled and the mm -hmm. B17s yeah. and now again a new Liberator as well a B24 mm. from Bobby Boss this is coming out Obviously, they, they did the A20 as well, did the A26, yeah, yeah. the Invaders. So I'd say it's just the A20 that needs a new up tool. It's so the somebody's, last one. Yeah. somebody's going to do it. Yes. Somebody's going to yeah, do it. I reckon HK. I reckon HK will drop it in because they've done the big one that John's building. So. Yeah. yeah. And then we're covered for modern versions of them, aren't we, really? Mm. Yeah, so. definitely. It's really nice to see the medium bombers getting a little bit of love. Yeah, that's it basic. is. Yeah. They have been overlooked. Uh, and then again, it, you know, yeah. massively overlooked um yeah. and again it's really nice to see the uh b24 getting a bit of love yeah um you know yeah. now in obviously 72nd 48th and yeah. obviously 32nd if you want to yeah, get a yeah. big uh hobby boss one but uh obviously seeing that one come down the line now and getting a bit of love is really nice yeah so, it is hmm. long over i must admit we've been waiting for that one for a long time now even before i built the b25 wasn't it i was like yeah, anchoring was... after that one yeah and uh so yeah i'm really looking forward to doing that one we'll get that one on the build schedule this year definitely yeah so uh, we'll so... wait for the old aftermarket bits to come out and then we'll give it a go so i don't think it'll be long to be honest before the uh 
before they all come out. So yeah, they're normally hmm. what a few weeks behind, month yeah, behind you've tops, aren't behind. they? They're normally on. Sometimes it. they're in front, even. But you know, this sometimes one, are, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. Even last box art, to be honest. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Good on you, ICM. Indeed. I think that's going cool. to be another cracker from them. Hmm. Very nice indeed. Yeah. Uh, so at the weekend, Matt went over to the Yeovil show. I did. Uh, unfortunately, you. we had a bit of a family crisis, so I yeah. had to pull out. Yes. last minute so unfortunately i couldn't uh attend that one but you went was it a good show it was a good show yeah yeah me and john went off the uh off the site we had a trundle mm-hmm. down there first time i've ever been and it's obviously i think it used to be the yeovilton show am i correct yeah, in saying yeah. that back in the day yeah and obviously it's not in the museum anymore so they've moved to a new venue um obviously met members said hello to members and, and people around and had a, had a good peruse met obviously greg from greg's models as well if you don't mm-hmm. know him on youtube we had a good chin wag with him um and yeah it's really good show so really nice to meet everybody and everybody who said hello usual thing nice to meet you all sorry i can never remember anybody's names <laughs> useless <laughs> but anyway yeah. you know who you are if you said if you spoke to me or john yeah. so yeah i really enjoyed it to be honest because obviously first show i've been to since uh Tamford, hmm. to be honest yeah so, yeah. yeah bit of a run round because we came down saturday afternoon really and then went to show Sunday, and then we was back home. Yes, Sunday evening we was back home, um, and then I had things to do yesterday. But mm-hmm. yeah, really enjoyed it. Really, really good. Picked up a couple of bits and bobs. So what I picked good up then. was talking about eight twenties. Oh, I picked up nice. Of them. So this is the G version. Let me just change my yeah. camera angle. I don't I'll just stick the overhead on. <sighs> there. So there we go. So, yeah, that's the G version of it. I mean, this is mm-hmm. actually coming back out from Special Hobby, but this is the original MPM version. So, yeah. nicely there. Can't lights clashing on it, but there's a few options in there. But um, that was that was one of my purchases. I know John picked a couple of bits up as well. He picked up a Airfix 0400 handy page. Right, yeah. And a, uh, what was the one? A Canberra, a 48th Canberra, which is Can a similar Can you try and build that handy page before? No, not that one. Not the 0400, I don't Oh, no. So I'm thinking of the Hastings he was trying to do, wasn't it? Yeah, he's had, he's had a few. He's got the what's yeah. it, the Matchbox kit. What's that? The Family Page Hayford. That was it. He, yeah. he kind of wants to do the heavy bombers of Family Page. So he wants an Halifax, and then he's going to get yeah. a picture, I think, and a bit of it. But actually, I'll tell you what. We had a look in that um, 0400 box, and it's from, like, same year as he was born, so 1900 or something. I was and, say, um, 1812. Yeah, and I tell you what, it's really detailed. I was actually surprised because mm. it's not been re-released that much. He's got the red boxing of it, yeah, not an earlier boxing, but actually the moulds have molded up really, really well, and mm. the detail in it's actually pretty good to be honest. So I was surprised for a 60s sort of AFX kit. They can be a bit sort of basic, can't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it looks all right. So yeah, I picked this up anyway. This was this was from obviously. The show I went to, and then a friend of mine went to the Hinkley show at Leicester, which was on on the same Sunday. <laughs> and he managed to pick me up one of these. <laughs> now I built this kit. This is it's a Lyric kit reboxed, and it's a quite a mm. hard kit to get hold of. And when you can, it's it's quite expensive. And he yeah. got it me for a proper bargain. I'll be honest, this was for a, a steal. So mm. um, I said, if you see one, pick me one up because it's a it's not a bad kit at all. It's got a few fit issues around the turret and stuff here, but nothing that you can't, you know can't overcome mm. with a bit of modelling know-how. Um, so, yeah, so he's picked me up that. So that was from the Hinkley show. So thanks to him. He did pick me up something else, but I've sh- I ain't got that yet. I'll show you later. But that's an old kit. So, anyway, I'll show you that on, a, on another show. But, uh, but yeah, mm. so there we go. So my twin engine US, you know, medium heavy, bo- you know, medium bombers and fighters. Yeah. It's coming. It's on, look, lots of guns. I was going to say, a lot of guns. Lots nice. of guns in them too, as you can see. They're both gunships, look. There's a theme <laughs> going on here, look. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, it. Lots of Solved. strafing. Yeah. Solved with that. So that was that was nice. Um, and yeah, overall, like I say, generally a really, really nice show. The one thing it did get me, which I was saying, mm. was that it was in a blow-up blow up, blow up um, sports hall. Have they got trouble with, uh, what's it called, rack? You know? <laughs> Crumbling schools and they've yeah, them all well, out in the tent. And they are actually having some work done on the school. I don't know much about it, but I think John said this was when he went, they had one there. So it must be something they have for, I presume it's like the size of a proper football pitch. It was a big space. Right. And you went through this weird re- revolving door. 
All right. Okay, anybody, yeah. I mean, if anybody went and you're watching this, put your comments down below because you might have a bit more insight <laughs> than me. But it was, but inside it was lovely, really spacious, really nice set out. It was warm in there. I have to say, mm. it was really pleasant in there as well. So it were, definitely weren't cold. Mm. But yeah, it's a bit, bit weird going in an inflatable sort of Giant structure. <laughs> if you know Welcome to the West Country. <laughs> yeah, good. that's that's you know, normal anything, for Somerset. <laughs> hey, do you know what I did cock up with completely while I was there? One, when I left home. Hmm. Well, when I left here, I forgot my tripod because I was mm -hmm. going to vlog it. Then yeah. my daughter's got one. I got my daughter a one. I forgot to say to her, you bring your tripod. And then I got so sidetracked with everything else and talking. I didn't take any photos or anything. It was one of them oh, just completely. Yeah. So if anybody has any got any photos or any, because there's some really, really nice models on display. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. Post them up because we'd like to see them. Yeah, we'd like to see them. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, so somebody's done it. So um, yeah, no, enjoyable mm. weekend though. Bit of a rush around, like I said, a bit of a, like Phil, bit of a family thing to do yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, but all in all, hopefully after after I think I can be back on it because I want to start my patchy to be honest because I've not even touched mm. it yet and I want to get on with it and get to uh, mm. get started. So yeah, mm. very nice, very cool. Well, yes. Be a good week this week. Just point out as well, um, I haven't done them yet, but a lot of people have been asking me about this, which is the uh, Dispay Sander. Oh, yeah. Um, so again, because I've had people message me and say, oh, it's brilliant. It's the best thing ever. I've had other people message me and say, oh, it's crap. So I'm like, right, well, I will yep. do it on test. But I know lots of you have messaged me as well, wanting to know when it will be up and everything else. And so as you can see, it's still cling filmed and everything. Ooh, I haven't even been in it myself. Oh, wow. So, okay. um, but yes, hopefully it it, uh, it does say it comes with a hundred percent charge, so that's handy. This is a new thing now. I just saw it on the box. I was like, okay, okay. So, <laughs> fully charged, fully charged, to ready to go. But anyway, what I will do is I will do a unboxing and a review and a test and everything for you, for you tomorrow. So uh, that'll be up with you tomorrow. Matt has got. Do you want to show them? Yes, I've got to review one. Very nice. of, a, of one of the first heavy lift helicopters, like mm. Sikorsky's Jibby Job, weren't it? Before the Jolly Green yeah. Giant and all that. And this is a yeah. a re-release of a of an earlier, shall we say, special hobby kit. Because they did mm -hmm. two, they did the Deuce, and I think they do the Mohave is the other one, which I think yeah. is the Navy one, is it? The Navy or the Army one? I army. Think so this yeah. is the Marine one, isn't it? The other one's the Army yeah. one. Get that right. It is an Army heavy lift. I like this helicopter. Mm. There's something about it because it's got that funny opening jaw yeah. thing to get yeah. stuff in what's mm -hmm. the review anyway um i think you're gonna have to need a little bit of modeling skill it is very early special obviously obviously no locating marks as i say and i think it's not going to be the easiest but you do get some nice bits in it to be honest i think you get a bit of resin if you remember let me have a look god jog my memory there's a bit of resin and a bit of etch and it's a bit of multimedia and stuff yeah you get a bag of resin there got too the bag so you're gonna watch it anyway so you get a bag of yeah. resin and a, I think mass set and all sorts of things. So it's it's um it's well it's worth if you're into helicopters and sort of like I'm early early helicopters if you know what I mean. It's definitely worth a worth a watch. Definitely. So we'll try yeah. and it there. There we go. Before it falls down. Hmm. I don't know. Something yes. you'd do is it? Something you'd be interested in? Or... Well, you know me. I must admit, if I had one choice to just to build all day long it'd probably be helicopters yeah but a gun to make because i do like doing helicopters because you can do you know as you say that's a classic example the shape it's, and the style it, of helicopters is so varied yes you can get big chunky things yeah. like planes are all pointy you know but yeah. <laughs> helicopters aren't uh so yeah you can get so many different styles and things to them and especially the early ones as well you know okay they follow a little bit of a thing got that sort of wessex look as i call it isn't it? And the various ones, they've mm. all got that. But that's because the power plant was all down in the same place and they always had the, the crew above them in those days. But yeah, yeah. again, then they're sort of getting into that realm where... So the power plants are here, they're on two sponsons. And they big, go in. the cells sticking out the side. The cells yeah. where the undercarriage is as well. It's a, yeah. Because you know, I don't think this sort of picture despicts it very well. It's a very old no, no. looking gangly thing. And they always have eyes on these sponson things mm. or whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, if you look it up, it's a really... Quite a unique looking helicopter. You can kind of see where the Jolly Green Giant evolved from. Yeah, it comes see it from, in there yeah. a bit, can't you? Um, mm, yeah, definitely. So probably they went, but yeah, something different. Like I say it's not been re-released for a good few years. This kit, and I know the Mo the Mohave is coming back out as well. So they're doing both. Um, mm -hmm. I had both the kits and I sold them, and I really regretted it. I've got to be honest. Yeah, 
Yeah. So I'll definitely be keeping one of these back, whichever one I, I decide to keep. But there's mass sets out for him as well, which is always a, hmm. a thumbs up Bonus. from me. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Can't go wrong with the mass uh, set. <laughs> But yeah, it's one of them. Hopefully, I will get round to tackling at some point. But yeah, let's say the C dash thirty seven C. There we go. So very nice. That up. So yeah, the review link is down below, and obviously, depending where you're seeing this, it'll be right below. I you do it as you're watching it. Yeah, so it's down there. <laughs> yeah, down there. That's it. You can go off and see that one. Yeah. Uh, down over on the PM store, we have uh, a couple of things in a little special offers area yeah. down in here. So uh, if you fancy a cougar, and we don't mean the more mature woman. Nope. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, I've got the main one down there. That's a box and a lump of that plastic. A lump. That's a, a lot of plastic in that. I remember when I reviewed it, there is a review for that one if you yeah. want to see it. But I remember trying to get all in the back box afterwards. It doesn't really nope. fit. No. So uh, yeah, very nice as well. Uh, and I'd say fantastic kit of the Crusader. So we've got special on that one as well. The yeah. Sterling. Yeah. What's not to love about Sterling? I love, and again, I love there Sterling. it is. There, there it is. is. That's that, a review uh, sample. That is the yeah. review. Obviously, it's all sealed back up because it's resealable bag, so it's it's near. You know, it's as new. But uh, but yeah, that is the review sample up there. If anybody fancies it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, and I spoke about on Friday. We've got the yeah. uh, Qatari Spitfires. Yeah. Uh, we've got that nice Audi down in there, and all the other ones down the bottom as well. So if you fancy any of these, they're all on specials. You can grab them right now. All yep. right. So. Very, very nice those kits are indeed. Again, um, paint and things like that at the moment, they're getting a little bit hard to come by. Uh, to be honest, there's a lot of stockists that are out of them uh, as we speak, isn't it, Matt? We but we're hopeful containers. it's all big containers and restock. Well, I think they're yeah. stuck in Baltimore. They're stuck somewhere. <laughs> I think, yeah, um, or stuck so, around the bottom of Africa or somewhere, I don't yeah. know. But they're definitely, it's taken a lot longer, obviously, for stuff to get here. So, um, I mean, as soon as they do arrive, we'll, we'll get our orders in we and be stopped. In but, um, yeah, yeah, at the minute, it's a bit sort of sporadic, shall we say again. Hmm. Uh, we seem to jump from one thing to another, don't we, with these deliveries for us at the minute. You know, yeah, from with yeah. COVID, we're going to get and then the containers, yeah. and then there was some else, and now, obviously, the, the other bits that are going off. So... Yeah, um, as soon as we go in, we'll get restocks in. Obviously, the Ray K Real Colour, we have got now on pre-order. We've pre-ordered our rack. So as soon as that mm -hmm. obviously gets launched, hopefully, at the end of the month, yeah, we'll have that in stock as well. So obviously, we'll keep you informed and let everybody know. And, you know, you mm -hmm. can um, restock with your dropper bottles, really. So if you, yes. if you have, like we mentioned, kept your jars and you don't like dropper bottles, just decant it. That's great. I know. That's Carry right. on. Oh, mm. yeah carry on regardless <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely so. my only worry is is that because uh, real colors you thin it a lot and these ones you'll do it as well mm -hmm. is that they would be i like to like suck back up i've shown it many a times in my mm -hmm. videos but yeah you know, if you color cup squeeze the air out turn it upside down put it in just go and take it up but i have enough trouble trying to tip back in if i've just used like the paint for the first time there's not enough room to tip back in and i'm like oh you're gonna have to bit, get it in. a bit more frugal with your mix yes before. i will be mixing a lot less that i need I must have moved. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look, or you could always purchase, yeah, the glass like, that's ones. X28. To be honest, mm -hmm. that's a big of X28 for some reason in there, but you can get the empty jars, yeah. So, um, these tell me you do X like this size and the bigger size jars, so you can always purchase them, they're not overly expensive, but yeah, not not quite X28 in it, to be honest. But you know, no, you get a no. little label, little label machine, you can always, you know, yeah, label them up what's in them. And do them. So, but, uh, do, no, no. but again i you know just to re um, recap on this thing the glass ones are 10 mil the new ones are 17 yeah got a lot more paint in there yeah so it's uh but yeah definitely literally a gen 3 in it a gen 3 mm -hmm. bottle with a different, gen 3 bottles exactly different same. slightly different cap on it different, different cap, cap but, that yeah of. but the formula is exactly the same no difference yeah. we're just literally waiting for them to come in now so as soon as they're in yeah i'll get them all out to you guys because to be honest we all need a restock even i need a restock so yes Yes, we do, to be well, honest. I'll be able to get more on my shelf. It'll be great. Hey, well, that's it. That is one thing. Like you said, you can get more up there because I'm looking at my Gen 3s mm. and Vallejos up in front of me and you, you get more on than the Jaws. But Yeah, definitely. I don't know. Yeah. We'll, um, mm. we'll see what well, like when we get. You can almost get double on there because obviously got my, you can't yeah. really quite see it, but over there I've got my attacker. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you've almost got double the amount of paint you'll get on there. So I don't think it's a bad thing. Less no. space. No. So. No, more paint, less space. Yeah, definitely. 
And what do you want? Paint or a jar? I want paint. Paint. In a jar. <laughs> <Give us paint. laughs> yeah, that's it. Right, okay then guys, we will leave it right there. I'm gonna get some paint onto this one. So next time you see this, members, you'll probably see it tomorrow in a vlog. It'll be green, or some of it will be green, as mm. we're gonna do this one. And then I'll go through some of the weathering on that one with you and everything else. So before you catch up with Matt with that review, that's down below with you uh, now. Tomorrow as well, I'm gonna get up the review for the sander and a few of the other bits as well from Dispay. That'll be coming up this week as we make our way through. And then after that, getting back onto the Apache for Friday. Friday, so hopefully the next part of that or might be the part of this will be up there on Friday and whichever one isn't the other one will be up on Monday as well so that yeah. makes sense yeah perfect which you will do because now I'm <laughs> in my nice clean studio it's all good we'll be absolutely fine <laughs> right okay then guys we will leave it right there happy morning take care we'll see you soon say goodbye Matt right here bye